Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm so happy to have you. You can find a whole bunch of reaction videos and original content on my channel, sorted by playlist. So I wanted to react to some of your guys' comments and uh, I wanted to do it a little differently. I don't want to sit in front of the computer screen. So I have it pulled up here on my phone and uh, let's go through it. So uh, I will try to link the comments and thank you all for commenting and engaging with me. Without further ado, let's check it out. So Google says, Yay, P.O. Box, I see a flood of Dutch snacks coming in. With any luck, you won't have to buy cheese, stroopwafels, <laughs> or haggleslag if they can get through customs. Yeah, if they can get through customs. Tip, decrease the volume of your intro-outro. Thank you for the tip. I was worried about that. I thought that the intro and outro were probably too loud. I should have t uh, turned them down. I'll probably take the intro and outros out. They're just kind of annoying, I think. I don't like the whole intro outro thing. I'm not big on it. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's just a little bit gimmicky. I try to keep my channel authentic. I don't want to be fake or uh I don't know. So yeah, I'll definitely thank you Google and I've seen you comment on a lot of my videos, so thank you a lot. I really appreciate your your support. I really do. So let's see. Let's see, how do you say this guy's name? Burtis Von Hall. I'm sure I'm not saying it right, but... When more people wear helmets, the people in cars take more risk because the people on bicycles are protected. Car drivers are more careful when people have not protection. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I, I understand. Um, let's see... Taco Querens says, I think the kids at the end give the answer. They stand there, jarring at the camera, in the middle of the street. Our streets are like that. Not, not thoroughfares, of course, but there you get separate lanes. I don't really know what thoroughfares means, but I think I can contextually put that together. Just a small remark, uh, this is Daisy Potiday 45 You have some kind of high-pitched background noise in your video. In most of your videos, it isn't present, but it is also present in your Americans Try Dutch Strope Waffles for the first time. Yeah, uh, I, I noticed that also. I didn't know if it was just me, if it was just my headphones or my computer, or if it was actually there. Uh, so it's good to know that it is actually there. I'll try to fix it and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you're not hearing it right now. Um, uh, this is kind of a work in progress, you know. I'm figuring out how to work all this equipment and stuff as I go. So I promise you guys I will continue improving in my quality and uh, the sound will continue getting better. It's a slow process, you know. I'm figuring it out all by myself and... Uh, but just know that I'll keep working on it, and hopefully the sound will be pristine in the near future. And thank you so much for the support. Uh, let's see, Jarl S. says, The red brick building you like with the murals and stuff, that is Oslo City Hall. And I repeat, you need to see This Is Germany video. I will check it out. Thank you for that recommendation. I've been wanting to check out some Germany videos. I just haven't got around to it yet, so I will make that the first one that I do, I promise you. And uh, thank you for telling me what that building was, because that building was really cool. That was in the uh, Which Country Do You Love the Most Norway edition. Let's see. In the Netherlands, you are protected by law until the age of 14. You are 100% protected and over the age of 14, 50%. So car is always liable. That was from Linda. Thank you, Linda. And, you know, that's interesting. I don't know exactly what the laws are in the United States about that. I'm sure it probably depends on where you are. Um, but let's see. I mean, you know, I've said it before in my videos. I know a lot of people who have been hit on their bikes. And we're even hesitant to go ride our bikes because we're worried about it. Because we do have some bike lanes. And I'm going to make a video and show you guys. Uh, what our bike lanes look like 
because I think you would be interested to see. Now keep in mind they look different city by city, state by state, but I can show you what the bike lanes look like where I live and uh, I can also show you how people drive in them and disrespect them and uh, you'll, you'll see why I'm kind of scared to go biking in my neighborhood. Um, also, someone said that I should get a Dutch bike. I think probably several of you guys have said I should get a Dutch bike. I would love to. That is on my bucket list. I do plan on getting a Dutch bike. Um, my wife has a pretty decent bike. She got it custom built. Um, I'm sure it probably doesn't compare to a Dutch bike, you know, but for American bikes, it's pretty good. And uh, so she has one, but I'll have to get one too. Uh, you know, going on family bike rides, is something that she did growing up with her family it's something that I did growing up with my family and it's something that we want to do with our kids in the future so we would love to live somewhere where it's safe and friendly to ride bikes not just for fun but also for commute you know uh, I've said this in a video before but I was ran over by a car on foot when I was six years old um, which is where I don't know if you can see it but I have scars on my head, I have scars on both of my arms, on my back. Uh, I was hit by a car when I was six years old in front of my elementary school because there was no crosswalks or anything and a car did a U-turn and they were coming back 30 miles an hour and they said they didn't see me because of the sun. Uh, so my dad and I were both ran over and I was in ICU for quite a long time and was technically legally dead. So uh, yeah, that was a, uh, it's kind of scarred me. I, I don't like cars that much, still to this day. That was 20, wow, I'm getting older. That was 22 years ago. And uh, 22, 20, no, that was 20 years ago. Yeah, had to think about my age again for a second. That was 20 years ago, and uh, I'm still kind of, I don't know if you would say scared of cars because I have to drive a car to commute. Uh, the place I was working at before the pandemic was an hour away from my home by vehicle. So, yeah. I commute, I do it, but I would like to ride a bike. You know, it's better for the environment, it's healthier, and I think it could be safer if you have the right infrastructure. So, anyways, I got off on a little bit of a tangent, but that's, uh, I don't want to do any of these videos scripted, I just want to have candid conversations with you guys, and uh, I think that's the most genuine way to do it. I thought about writing out scripts and stuff, and I'm like, no, I just don't want to, I just don't want to do that. I just want to keep my videos authentic. That's why sometimes when you guys watch my reactions, they might be, some of them might be really entertaining, and I might have a lot to say. And then sometimes other videos might not be as entertaining and I might not have that much to say. I'm just always going to keep it authentic with you guys. So whatever I'm thinking when I'm watching the video, I'm going to say it. And sometimes I don't say much because sometimes I'm just taking the video in and processing all of its information. And uh, sometimes it's hard to, to try to think about things to say. I just want to listen to what the video is saying. So... Just know I will always keep it authentic with you. God, it hurts every time they say Denmark as a Swede. <laughs> Marcus said that. Yeah, I can understand. Let's see. By the way, I want to do more Sweden videos. I've, I've seen a lot more Swedish people coming to my channel lately. And that makes me really excited because I've loved checking out Sweden so far. And so I'm excited to get back to some of that. Um, sorry to nitpick, this is CatBitMaster. Sorry to nitpick, but just wanted to point out, Scandinavia is specifically only Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. Iceland and Finland are Nordic, but not Scandinavian. In addition, Finland speaks a totally different language from the rest of Nordic countries. Nordic countries speak Northern German languages except for Finland, which speaks Finno-Urgic language that is closest to Estonian, followed by Hungarian. Hmm. Yeah, I think, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed that I got that wrong because I think I actually watched a video before that told me that, but 
I'm still trying to get it all down, you know. It's a, it's a very foreign concept to me. I'm extremely familiar with North America, Central America, South America, um, and certain parts of the rest of the world, but the whole Scandinavia and Nordic, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's new to me. So I'm trying to, I appreciate that information. I'm trying to learn it. Um, I must say, I think I'm still a little bit confused about the difference between Scandinavian, Scandinavian and Nordic. I think I'll probably have to watch some more videos about that. But anyways, let's see. Oh, someone answered me about what this raft was. I was curious. Jarl S. says, The raft seen in the water in the beginning of the video is often found at popular beaches. Is it a place to swim and dive from? That is so cool, man. I like that. I like that concept. Let's see. Let's do, let's do one more. Let's see. Try to get someone that I haven't got yet. Echo Monday says, When will Dutch immigration be seeing you pass through shipful? Ship, shipful. I'll have to look up how to pronounce that one. Well, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Uh, I was thinking about going to the Netherlands in the winter time, but I think that's going to be a little bit too soon. So, uh, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. No, I don't have any, uh, you know, concrete times or dates for that right now, uh, especially with COVID. Uh, in case you guys don't know, it's uh, kind of flared back up here where I live. And so I think it would be irresponsible of me to go travel to another country right now because I, I'm living in a hot zone for COVID. So I don't want to, I don't want to take the Delta variant you know, uh, into a community that I visit, I don't, I don't want to do that. So I think well, I'll just have to wait it out a little bit and see, you know, with, with how weird the world is right now and see what happens. Uh, but I will be there, you know, soon, as soon as I possibly can, I'd love to visit. And, uh, you know, my wife and I would love to spend some extended time there. And as you guys know, uh, or maybe you don't know, but I said in some of my older videos that the Netherlands is a place that we're considering moving after she finishes school. So she still has, you know, a couple years left on that, about a year and a half, and then she'll be a doctor. She'll have her uh, MD. And so, you know, I don't know how it translates over to the Netherlands. I don't know if she could still practice in the Netherlands or if she would have to, you know, I'm not sure what the process would be. So... Yeah, but anyways, we'd love to come check it out and spend some extended time there and see what it's like, uh, not just as a tourist, but, you know, get an idea of what life is like there. And, of course, there's other places that we're considering as well. I think the Netherlands is probably one of the most appetizing places so far for us, but we do all... I like Denmark a lot also, and Norway... But I do understand that it's really difficult to immigrate to Denmark, so uh, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, we just want to find the best place to raise our children. And, uh, you know, with all the things that are going on in this country right now, I don't think that this is the best place to do that, unfortunately. You know, I do love my country, but uh, it is what it is. So, anyways... As you guys can see, I can get off on random tangents just like that. So uh, I'll stop talking now and let you guys get back to your day. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I'm going to read some more of your comments and uh, can't wait to hear from you. Let me know what you think. Let me know how your day is going and what I should check out next. And by the way, I got a P.O. box. So check out the description of this video. You can find the address for the P.O. box. I would love to hear from you guys. Or uh, if you send anything, I will open it or view it or whatever on camera and give you a special shout out. So wherever you are in the world, hope you're doing well and happy. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.